Hey everyone, my name is Serki Erki, and today I want to talk about animal and plant cells. What do they have in common, and what are the differences? Plant cells and animal cells have different parts that have different functions for the organism. Plant and animal cells are eukaryotes. All eukaryote cells have a nucleus, membrane-bound organelles, and parts that protect and support the cell. Let me start talking about organelles found in plant and animal cells. Both animal and plant cells have the following organelles. Um, what just happened? Nucleus, an organelle that contains genetic material, DNA. DNA contains information needed for the cell processes such as making proteins. Cell membrane surrounds, protects, and regulates what enters and leaves the cell. For example, cell lets water and gas in and out of the cell. Other large materials have to pass through protein channels in the membrane. Mitochondria, a powerhouse of the cell. The mitochondria acts like a digestive system which takes in nutrients and breaks them down and creates energy-rich molecules called ATP. This process is called cellular respiration. Cells use ATP, ATP to carry out cell processes. Rough endoplasmic reticulum, RER for short, a system of membranes near the nucleus assists in the production, processing, and transport of proteins. The process of protein synthesis starts when mRNA instructions to build protein moves from the nucleus to a ribosome on the surface of RER. As the ribosome builds the amino acids chain, the chain is pushed into the cisternal space of RER. When the proteins are complete, they collect and the RER pinches off a vesicle. That vesicle, a small membrane bubble, can move to the cell membrane or the Golgi apparatus. Some of the protein will be used in the cell and some will be sent out of into intercellular space. Cytoplasm is the fluid that fills the cell. Ribosomes are protein builders of the cell. When a cell needs to build a protein, it looks for ribosomes. Ribosomes make proteins by putting together chains of amino acids using acid instructions coded in the cell's DNA. Ribosomes are the smallest organelles. They are suspended freely in the cytoplasm. Some are attached to another organelle called ER. Some important proteins made by ribosomes are enzymes. Proteins you are used to help speed up biological processes. Golgi bodies modify proteins and lipid to do different jobs. And then it packages them in vesicles and either stores them for later use or sends them out of a, the cell. Vacuoles are storage bubbles that store nutrients or waste. The waste uh, would be sent out of the cell to prevent contamination. They are found in animal cells and plant cells. Plant vacuoles are much larger than animal vacuoles. Now it's time for... Unique organelles found only in plants. Cell wall, a rigid structure that surrounds the cell membrane. Dogs have a skeleton to support its weight. The cell wall allows trees to stay tall. We also find chloroplasts, an organelle where photosynthesis occurs. Photosynthesis is a process which cells use sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to make sugar and oxygen. Chloroplasts are green because they contain a green pigment called chlorophyll. 
chlorophyll absorbs the energy in sunlight. And now a moment with unique organelles found only in animal cells. A lysosome is basically a specialized vesicle that holds a variety of enzymes. The enzyme proteins are first created in the rough ER. The purpose of the lysosome is to digest things. They might be used to digest food or break down the cell when it dies. And that's all. Thanks for watching and peace. Uh, hello? Hmm? Oh, hmm. Yeah.